is Bailey and here's your news for the week. If you weren't here or you want to t retake your picture, picture retakes are October 4th. The ACT rescheduled for October 5th has been rescheduled for October 13th. Trey caught up with Dr. Collins for more information. Hello, Choctaw. I'm Trey Simmons from KJI interviewing Miss Collins today. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing fine. Just pushing by. Uh, so, the information in regards to the testing that's coming up, is there anything you'd like to say about that? So, we have a couple of testing opportunities coming up. For the 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, we have the PSAT, or the Preliminary Scholastic Aptitude Test. The state is paying for the test for the 10th and 11th graders, so any 10th or 11th grader that wants to test just signs up in the counseling office. For freshmen, the cost is $30. The test is great practice for anyone planning to go to college. It's a practice SAT, but it also helps with the ACT. For juniors, you can qualify for the National Merit Test, National Merit Scholarship, and it can lead to potentially a full ride scholarship at colleges and universities. Wow. Yeah. Then we also have on October 19th for 10th, 11th, and 12th graders the state free ACT. So students that have already signed up will be testing on Tuesday, October 19th. Interesting. Uh, so is there anything else you'd like to disclose to us? So we have an opportunity coming up on October 6th. Everyone should have gotten an email if you're a junior or a senior. Rose State is having an outdoor college fair and parents can approve for their students to attend and they get the afternoon off. So if you're a junior or senior, check your email. Have your parents check their email. Um, our slot is from 11 to 12 and students that again do attend will get to have third and fourth hour off. So that's um, then we have our scholarship newsletters will start coming out in October, so we will send those directly to the senior emails. There's not a lot of scholarships for juniors, but anything we get will be sent to their school emails as well. Cool. Uh, thanks for taking the time of your day to you know attend this uh, interview, and it's been nice. It's our pleasure. Anytime you guys have questions, come see us. All right. Also, Hannah got with some of the admi administration for a new segment, Games with Hannah. Thank you, I'm Hannah Duckworth and I'm here with Miss Harris and today you're going to be watching a segment over board games with Hannah. So basically in this segment we're going to be doing different types of board games, different types of games like cards and stuff like that with the administrators and asking them a bunch of questions. Would you like to get started Miss Harris? Absolutely. Okay, well I will be courteous and give you first turn. So my first question I have for you is, when you were in high school, did you think you were going to have the job that you do today? No, definitely not. <laughs> did, um, what did you want to be when you were in high school? I wanted to be a sports broadcaster. A sports broadcaster? Yes, ma'am. Uh, do, do you have a certain news you wanted to be a sports broadcaster for? I worked for Channel 9. Uh, right out of college and then I worked for the Oklahoma City 89ers and then I met my husband and decided I wanted to become a teacher because that's what he did and I felt like he had all these really cool stories and things to talk about and what he did made a big difference and I wanted that in my life so I went and got alternatively certified and began teaching. Oh, do you like teaching more than news broadcasting? Absolutely. I think I would have been pretty bad at the whole broadcasting thing. <laughs> well, when you were in high school, were you in any type of sports or clubs or activities? I was on the pump squad. Victory! Gosh dang it! <laughs> okay, we go again. Yeah, I did pom three years in high school, all three years. And actually, Miss Kelly, who used to teach here, but she's moved to North Carolina now, she was on pom with me. We graduated together. Ooh. Did you like Palm a lot? Absolutely. National champions my senior year. Good job. What high school did you go to? Choctaw. You did? Mm -hmm. Did you like Choctaw? Was it any different than it was nowadays? Well, back in those days, which was over 30 years ago, um, we pretty much just had a Brahms and a Mazios, and that was it. It was just a very small town feel. Yeah. And there's a lot of growth. This school building was the same one when I went through here, but that was the only building. It's just grown so much. It's really cool. 
Yeah, it has grown a lot. Um, did I miss the small town that we used to have? Honestly, because like you could just roll up next to someone and be like, "Oh my gosh, how was your day?" Yeah. Because you knew them. But now it's not really the same. But um, do you enjoy, um, you know, the job that you have now? Absolutely. I think COVID is a bummer, but um, I've really enjoyed being an administrator. I was worried that I might miss the classroom a lot, but honestly, I really enjoy being in the office. I feel like I get to know kids even better. Yeah. I mean, um, you get like front row seats to kids' lives basically no. in the office. It's you are fun. correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you um, what would you tell people that would want to want to be teachers in the future that I won you connect for <laughs> I stink at this game <laughs> Holy you want to play Mr. Dooley now <laughs> I mean, we can <laughs> okay Dang, I need to practice my <laughs> Connect Four skills because I am losing so bad. Jeez. Uh, okay, we could bring Mr. Dooley in here if you want. Okay. Hi, I'm back, and I'm here with Mr. Dooley, which is our freshman principal. Um, Mr. Dooley, how have you been today? I have had an excellent day. That's good. How about you? I've had a pretty good day. To be courteous, I will give you first shot at, um, you know, trying to beat me in Connect, Connect Four. Connect Four? Mm-hmm. I always go so. right down the middle, middle of the road. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions while we're playing this game. So in high is school... This, is this truth questions? You want true answers? True answers, okay. yeah. That would, that would be nice. Okay. So in high school, did you think you were going to have the job that you do today? No. I thought I was going to be a professional baseball player. A professional baseball player? Well, why aren't you a p professional boy baseball player? Something about when you uh, when your arm goes wacky on you, you end up having to choose another profession because I was a catcher. And as a catcher, you have to be able to throw runners out at second base that are stealing bases. And so because of that, because my arm wasn't quite what it was supposed to be, after the surgery, I had to give up baseball oh i'm sorry that's okay I, I found something i coached a long time and uh and it was good yeah be careful i know because, i'm because like you know one that, wrong move and well what does that do to you if i drop that right there what happens nothing oh you lose <laughs> So I'll give, I'll, I'll give you a chance not to lose, okay? Okay, thank you. There you go. I appreciate it because I've lost the last two games. That Have I've you played. really? Yeah, horribly. Well, horribly I've, I've given you a chance. Thank you. I appreciate that chance. But I'm be still, careful. Like, no matter what, I feel like I'm going to lose. You know you're dealing with a mathematician that knows calculations, right? Oh, you're a mathematician. Mm-hmm. Now, see, now what, now what you've done is just give me three more in a row. So you got to be careful because if you go there, you can block me. But if you do that, I'm going to go there and beat you. But you can go there and block me. But if you do, I'm going to go there and beat you. So I've got you beat two different ways. But you can choose whichever way you would like. <laughs> that was fun. How are you so good at that? I just, okay. There's just so many one, slots one open. One more round. Okay. One more round. We've got this. Okay. I'll give, you, I'll give you a chance. I'll let you go first this time. Thank you. Another question. So, were you in any sports or any... Uh, well, you were in baseball, I'm just yes. guessing. Were you in any other type of clubs or activities when you were uh, younger? Foreign language, because when I lived in England, if you took French at the end of the year, the French club went to Paris. And so, I took French so that I could go on the trip to Paris at the end of the school year. Do you know any French? Uh, Parlez-vous français? Oui, madame. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Tu vas bien? Bonjour means hi. Yeah. I yes, know it that. Does. Yes, it does. Yeah. Uh, and so I, and then whenever I moved to Midwest City, when my dad got out of the Air Force, uh, I took Spanish because the Spanish club got to go to Mexico City at the end of the school year. So now I, uh, 
So now I speak Spanish as well. Can you say hello? Buenos dias, como esta? Estoy bien. I say, good morning, Muy how guapo. are you? I said, are you okay? How are you doing? You're going to say. Muy bien. Muy bueno. Muy Very bueno. Good. Very good. Yeah. So. I took Spanish in middle school. Good. I wasn't good at and it, so, but I took it. So I took four. I took Spanish. I took French. Uh, I played sports. And so I just stayed involved uh, in, in school. Because outside of school, it was uh, go to work for my dad. Anytime I wasn't working or at school, I was working. And so avoiding work, I played sports and took foreign language. What high school did you go to? I went to two. I went to Burns Flat, which is out in western Oklahoma, and then I graduated from Midwest City High School. Did you like Midwest City High School? Midwest City then was, was good. It's changed over the years, but it was good then. Yeah. Uh, what would you say to the people who are thinking about being a teacher or in the school community? You need to enjoy what you're doing, and so if you don't enjoy what you're doing, go find something that you like to do. Life's too short to be in a job that you don't like doing, and then it becomes a job, not a career. Mm -hmm. Find a career, find something you're happy with, find something you like to do. Uh, if you want to be a teacher, uh, enjoy kids. Because if you don't, good kids, bad really kids, goofy mm -hmm. kids, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But uh, enjoy students, and uh, your goal is to help them become better every day. That's good. So. That's good. I I think. They will enjoy that. And also, it's your turn. And I'm almost Oh, it's close my to turn? You. Yeah. You're not close to beating me. I am. A little bit. There's no way. Because I'm going to go right there. You know, I've got to go there, right? Mm hmm. But I still have you blocked off, so you can't win in that way. Mmm. Not a bad move. Mm hmm. Hmm, you messed up. See, I'm not going to let you go there because then you would have four. So I've got to go there. Be careful. Hmm. Hmm. So you only have two on each one. Mm -hmm. That's all you need, right? Mm. Sometimes. You're making it hard on me. I know. That's what I do. Three. You're not going to be able to get that fourth one, but you could try. Hmm. I think it's going to be a cat or a tie. You think? Probably. Because we don't have enough, huh? Mm -mm. Do you have a lot? No, you only have one Just left. Just got one left. Two. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, see, I can't let you get that. I gotta go right there. That's all I can do. That's four. No, it's not. One, two, three, four. <gasps> you won. <laughs> I didn't even notice that, but I just won because I'm so good. Yeah, I knew I won. Good job. I knew I won, 100%. Okay, so now that we are one to one, do you want to go one more time and let's see who's the ultimate winner? If you would like. Okay, I'll let you go first. Oh, you will? Yeah, I'll be nice. You want this you. a long game or a short game? We can do a long game. Okay, then I'll go. The more footage for the news, the better. <laughs> okay. So what other questions do you want you have? I mean, I was just going to ask you about your high school life, you know, like what what did you do outside of school other went, than work? I went to church. I had my church buddies that I hung out with. Uh, and so church camps and, and things like that, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of good times in that. But, uh, you know. Between school, work, church, it was a busy, it was a busy time, you know? Yeah. Where did you go to church at? I went to church out at, uh, on Douglas Boulevard. There's a church out there that is now no longer there. It burned down, but it was, uh, 
called Douglas Boulevard Baptist Church. And uh, so I went there and we had a real strong youth group and uh, enjoyed doing that. So. I think that's interesting. And that's game. Thank you very much. Oh! <laughs> Clubs here at Choctaw and we caught up with Tabletop here at and here's a look at the club. Now to sports with Securi. Thanks, Bailey. Cross Country had their pre-state run at Edwin where the girls would take 8th and the boys placed 11th, just 30 points shy of 3rd. On Monday, softball took on Westmore where they would lose 5-4. to four. Thursday, the 30th, softball took on Puntham City. Check the source below. Football opened up district play by beating Booker T. Washington 29-20. to 20. And tonight... They will take on Ponca City. On Tuesday the 28th, volleyball beat Puntham City 25 to 12, 25 to 15, 25 to 6. And on Thursday, they met with more on senior night. Check the score below. This weekend, competitive drama competed in the first OSSAA speech and drama debate virtual tournament of the season, hosted by Edmond North High School. Choctaw picked up 10 qualifications for the regional tournament held in March. Congrats to everyone who performed at the Owasso Invitational Marching Contest. Choctaw got first in 2A Band of America classifications and placed fifth overall in the finals. Hello, welcome back to another week of Alvin in the Alley. Who's Ryan? So, remember last time? <laughs> Hello there. I guess we're not. Ow, my back. There he is. What? I did not reply to your DM. I got this prepared for us. What are your thoughts on the Mario movie casting? You know, after you showed it to me, I really have to say, Jack Black, I'd rather have him as Mario. Uh, personally, I'd rather have Jack Black as Mario, uh, Jack Black as Peach, Jack Black as every character in the movie. He, he would do amazing. He'd be phenomenal at it. He has a ton of range. Care for another bean. Uh, no thanks. I am good. Would you care, Alvin, to give this a food review? Uh, <clears throat> six out of ten. It was very dry. Benjamin Bryant. Yes. Before you go. Yes. What is a good horror movie for Halloween? A good horror movie for Halloween? Um, you ever watch Home Alone 2? Hi. Hi. What is a good horror movie? Horror movie? For Halloween. Um, Hocus Pocus. What do, are your thoughts on the Mario casting? Huh? What are your thoughts on the Mario casting? Mario casting? Yeah, for the movie. There's a Mario movie? Okay. I don't know. Where is the people? I'm looking for the suit and council. I'm looking for the Benjamin Ball. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Uh, we need footage for the, uh, you know, the, the show. Cade, what are your thoughts on the Mario casting? Isn't Chris Pratt Mario? Yes. That makes no sense. What about Jack Black as Bowser? Yeah, that one makes a little bit of sense. What is a good horror movie for Halloween? Horror? Yeah. Ooh. Like my favorite? Don't watch Quiet Place. Those movies suck. What, dude? Uh, we actually had someone earlier on the show who recommended the first Quiet Place movie. That movie sucks. The second one is awful. That was bad. They should have made it one movie. They're only like an hour each. Saw. The Saw. Saw's good. Saw. Trilogy. How many Saw's are there? Not trilogy. There's like five of them. I think, I think you have taken the... the uh, <clears throat> The uh, place of the most goriest horror film so far. Rob Zombie movie. 
Rob Zombie movies. I, I hear his Halloween ones are pretty terrible. Even Spielberg. The, uh, yeah, they are, but it's pretty gory. I kind of like it. How about the Evil Deads? No comment. You haven't seen the Evil Dead? Groovy. No, 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 no. There's like a bunch of them. You need to watch them all. Yeah, there's Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and then Army of Darkness, which was made by Universal. They're all on HBO Max. How did you choose the theming for Homecoming? It actually wasn't up to me. Decorations shows that, and I, I don't really know how they determined that. <laughs> but why wasn't it Twister? That would have been perfect. Honestly, it would have been a pretty cool, pretty cool theme. Mardi Gras. No, not Mardi I, I am the, uh, someone read that off for me. I can't read it. I got you. We mean business. CHS Business Academy, 0506. How did you get Look at that. Oh, yeah. Business? You were like two business or business? Business. You got older brother or sister? No. Parent? No. Aunt, uncle? Parent, guardian? No. Where did this shirt come from? Where did you get that? Were you, did you get dress coded today for wearing a crop top? I have... No comment. <laughs> uh, just, I'm really sorry. You gotta go through all this. I don't know. Can this get nominated for an Emmy? <laughs> and... The Oscar goes to Alvin Modesto. <laughs> We're going to the uh, senior meeting, guys. We got to catch the senior meeting, guys. This is going to be good. This is going to be great. We're going to get some good footage here. Is this Alvin in the alleys, bro? Yes, this is Alvin in the alleys. Let's go! Are we even allowed in? Only one person at the only two people at the school know what an evil dead is and I am one of them so what have we learned today watch the evil dead it's on HBO Max watch it it's got Bruce camp Bruce Campbell okay that should be the selling point right there Bruce Campbell.